Hello. Uh, welcome to today's lesson where we're looking at uh, the the volume of similar uh, shapes. Where we're looking at the volume of similar shapes. I think uh, I did mention in the previous lesson that uh, similar shapes are those shapes that have got equal corresponding angles on other shapes as well as um, uh, the corresponding sides should be should have the same proportion okay so now we want to look at what is involved on the, the volume of uh, similar shapes okay so as you i think this this definition does fit even in the previous lesson it's very important like this is the third lesson that i'm covering on um, this topic so i always insist and advise that you, you you should start with the previous lessons lesson one lesson two and this is the third lesson like that it it becomes a very uh, good point of building up okay so we are looking at when two uh, solid objects are similar then one is the ac uh, accurate enlargement of the other so it brings out the aspect of uh, the ratio that we talked about in the other in the similar when we are talking about I mean area so now here what is very important to note as a build up from where we came from because when we are talking about area here we are talking about uh, a square now we are talking about a cube so if two objects are similar and the ratio of the corresponding sides is a over b or a to b then the ratio of their volume is A over B cubed. Okay? This is very important. So what we are talking about, the area, I mean the, the ratio of volume, you have to, to put it to the power of 3. Okay? As you know, even the volume, the units of volume, when we are dealing with volume, even the units there, cubed so that is uh, even the ratio has to be in that mode because we can't be dealing with uh, a units that are in different uh, modes like you've got maybe you're adding kilometers plus meters you don't you know it doesn't work like that you need to convert one to the other so even in this case that is very important so uh, if we can consider if you are given that the ratios the ratio of similar objects is one the ratio of similar objects is 1 to 3. Those are the ratios of the similar objects. Find the ratios uh, of... Um, uh, for area, we were squaring this. So it will be 1 to 9. Now we are looking at volume. The, these are the original ratios like of the uh, similar objects. Now when we want to find the ratios of volume, so we need two, this to the power three, this step. So we're going to have three, one to the power, uh, I mean one, two, 27. These are the ones that are going to be the ratios for volume. That's very important. Now, if you have got these ratios for volume, these are given as ratios for volume. Then we need to go back to that. You have to find the cube root. You have to find the cube root of this one. Then we'll go back to the original ones, okay? So that is very important there. Very, very important to note. So, let's come to this question. Find the volume of the larger uh, cylinder. The larger cylinder is this one here. The first one, we have uh, the, the height is given as 3 centimeters. The area of this one, of the, the smaller cylinder, is given as uh, uh, 30 centimeters cubed. Now we want this one. Okay. So, the, 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 the ratios that are given here of these two uh, cylinders. Okay. Of these two cylinders. The ratios that are given, we have got uh, 3. We have got 3 to 6. We have got 2 to... Now, I have advised, even in the previous lesson, that if you've got ratios like these ones that you can simplify, the best that you do is to simplify them just to reduce you have got um, 3 into 3 is 1 and 3 into it's what? 2 
So it's better we work with this one. They're still coming from there. It's, we have not changed anything. Okay? Now, we want now to find the ratio of volume. The ratio of volume. So the ratio of volume now is given by this one. It's given by this. Okay? So meaning, when it comes to this part, we want to find the volume. And volume is given in centimeters cubed. So even the ratios that we are going to be using now. So we are going to say now, volume of uh, the larger, volume of the larger what? Volume of the larger cylinder. Okay? Volume of the larger cylinder. That's what we want to work with now. So volume of the larger cylinder, we need to make sure that uh, this side, we change this into the ratio of, a, uh, of volume. We need to change this, these ratios into the ratios of volume because what we are working with is volume. That's very important. Then we come also to this side. This is the ratio of the smaller cylinder and this is the ratio of the bigger cylinder. So the 30 goes with this one here. Then this one that we are looking for, we can call it X. Then we go on and work this thing out. Okay? So we are going to get, um, when you multiply, 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1, you get 1. Over 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, you get 8. This is equals to 30 over X. At this point, we have to cross multiply. X is equals to 30 multiplied by 8. Then X, which is the volume of the larger cylinder, we need to multiply now here. You have got 0. 3 multiplied by, we get what? 24. It is as simple as this. That is very important. This is very, very important. Sometimes you can be given the volumes, uh, the volume of this one, as well as the volume of the smaller one. Then they ask you to find now uh, one of the heights, like these ones that we are missing here. I think this is the, what we want to consider in the second question. So let's look at what is uh, uh, what question two is asking us to do. Let's look at what question two is asking us to do. This part is very important here. Okay? Okay, let's look at what question two is asking us to do. Let us look at what question two is asking us to do. So, allow me to get rid of this. Okay, so um, now, a pyramid has four centimeters, I mean, is four centimeter high, meaning the height is four centimeters, and has a, and has a volume of 45 centimeters cubed. What is the height of the similar pyramid whose volume is what? 2,880 centimeters cubed. Okay. So now, what are we supposed to do here? When you look at the, this, this it's, it's like in this case now, we are given the pyramids. Huh? The pyramids in whichever... We've got the pyramids. Now, one of the pyramids, the height is given. Now, the other one, the height is not given. Okay? We have got the pyramids here in whichever uh, uh, form that they may be. We have got the pyramids. Now, their heights, one is given the height and the other one is not given the height. Okay? So those pyramids that we have here, uh, if we can just take, for instance, we are considering uh, pyramids like this one. Okay? Okay, this is one of the pyramids, and also here we have this pyramid that we are looking at. We have this pyramid. Okay, these are just demonstration. So, now, these pyramids, we are told that uh, this one, the volume of this pyramid is what? 2, 8, 8, and this one, the volume is 45, and then the height from this point up to that point, this uh, height 
it's given as 4. Then this one, we do not have the height. So we want to find now the height of this one. That is what we are supposed to do. That is what we are supposed to do now. Okay? That is what we are supposed to do. So, um, we have the height of the smaller one. These are the heights that we have. We have 4, 2, the x that we don't know. Now we will come to the answer now, where we are beginning to work out what we, is expected of us. What are we supposed to do? Remember, we are dealing with volume. So we have to make sure that this, we, we put a cube there, all right? Because we want the unit, I mean, the ratios to, to be in the mode of the volume. Like what we are doing here. We need to work with the what's The ratios, ratio, of what volume is what it's cubed that's what we are doing here so now when we come to the other side when we come to the other side the volume of the smaller pyramid is what 45 over the volume of the bigger one is this one all right so what we are supposed to do now here it's um it's very important that uh, we simplify this side just to reduce getting very big figures or numbers. The best that you can do, remember this is paper one why you do not use a calculator. So you have to simplify this side. So now when we expand this one, this is going to give us 64. Uh, this is going to give us 64 here. That is 4 times 4 times 4, you get 64. Over x times x times x, you get x cubed. You get x cubed, this one. Then this side, when you simplify this one, what do you get? Um, 45 into 45 is 1. Then um, 45 into 2,880. It's 64 times. You can, you can try that one just to confirm it. Alright? So now, at this point, we need to cross multiply. At this point, we need to cross multiply. At this point, we need to cross multiply. Please follow what we are doing. So when you cross multiply, you've got x cubed multiplied by 1, you get x cubed. Then 64 multiplied by 64 what do we get? 64 multiplied by 64. We get 496. Okay? We can try this one. Okay? That is what we get. So, at this point, 496. Alright? So, what we are supposed now to do here is to find the cube root. You need to find now the cube root of this one. What is the cube root of uh, this number? That is what we are supposed to do. What is the cube root of... Uh, so it's like we're going now to say x is equals to this one. 4. Uh, then this is now the height... What we are going to get here now is the height of the what? Of the bigger pyramid. So let's try to work this thing out and get what he, uh, get what we are going to find as the final answer. What is the cube root there? What is our cube root uh, of the? Let's 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 let's, let's see what we can uh, get. What is the cube root there? What is the cube root of that part so that we get the we get to find the final answer? What is our cube root? What is our cube root? Alright, what is our cube root? What is our cube root? What is our cube root? Our cube root you will discover that it will be uh, 16. To be 16. Okay. The 
cube root will be 16 here that is what is going to be our cube root okay um that is what is going to be our 